testing. So I'll be showing you guys how to install Mac OS X 10.12 Sierra. Uh, you might be wondering where? Well, there's this program called VMware Workstation Pro. And um, you can pay for it. There's places where you can get it without paying. Not saying places. Just putting it out there. I have it because of school. So yeah, there you go. Um, so first of all, we're going to have to download this torrent. The link would be in the description. Click it, and it will take you straight to the torrent. You're probably going to have to have uTorrent, BitTorrent, other people use other things. And download it. It downloads fairly quick, depending on your internet speed. And then after that, you'll get this folder. Well, you won't get this folder. You will name a folder with this name. Then you double click it. And then you'll get this though. So uh, those random numbers, I just put it in here. Be a little bit more organized. You're going to get all these files. And first thing you want to do is open the instructions. And these instructions were not by me. It came with the torrent. And you want to go into your BIOS setup and turn Intel Virtualization Technology on. Enable it. Save it and restart your computer. That is going to be very important. I will not be teaching you how to do that. There's other videos on YouTube that more than happily will teach you how. And so yeah, what you do first of all is if you don't have WinRAR, WinRAR is right here. Install it. I already have WinRAR. And you have to extract this folder. Just extract it here. Have it right here. Then after that, what you want to do is you want to go into VMware Unlocker. Then when install. That is going to be so that your Win, your VM workstation, has a Mac OS X setting ready for it. So, what you do is you right click, you run as administrator, you click yes, it'll it'll install. Just let it load and close it. Uh, maybe if it's open, it doesn't work. Let me, let's check it out. Oh, it's there. So. Just for safety purposes, close it, install it, and then open it again. And now, what you want to do is you want to open it, click Create New Virtual Machine on Typical, click Next. Put I will install the operating system later, click Next. You're going to have this list. Installing what I told you to install is going to give you the Apple Mac OS 6 part of it. Um, just click the latest one, click next, uh, edit it, I'm going to put 12, and then you choose the location where you want it, I browse, I'm going to want it in my drive E, I made a folder for it, and, mm, I mean, you need to make a folder for it, I'm going to make it Mac, Oh, SX ten point twelve. Okay, that's where I want it. Click next. Put split virtual disk into multiple files. Leave that forty gigabyte alone. Click customize hardware. And here. I recommend adding it up to 4 gigabytes. Uh, if you have a quad core or if you have the option, do that. And uh, yeah, the rest is okay. Click close and put finish. So now, once you have it, you want to go down. You want to go into drive E, 
go into your folder you're gonna have this here you wanna open this folder right click on it open with open it with your notepad and all the way at the bottom you're gonna wanna add Should be in the instructions. Here we go. Just copy this part. Without this, copy it. And go back into your notepad. Paste it all the way at the bottom. Erose those. Make sure it looks like this. And then click File. Save. Close it. Then what you want to do is you want to go into it. You want to go Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Uh, click on Hard Disk. <laughs> Remove it. Add click yes and on hard disk you wanna add another hard disk you wanna leave it as SATA you just wanna put next you wanna put I think it's use existing virtual disk you wanna click next you want to you want to go to the file we downloaded and you actually want to click on the MVD, VMDK click open and put finish click OK now you power on the machine So yeah, if you have any errors, make sure you go back to the document that I told you to edit. And make sure after you try opening and you got the error that the words that I told you to paste in there are all the way at the bottom. If, if they're in the middle of new words that are in there, copy that, delete it, put it on, make it normal, go all the way to the bottom, paste it in there. And... Try to turn it on again. It should work. <laughs> so now we wait for it to boot up. Alright, you choose your language. You press continue. Continue. You agree. You select Mac HHD. Continue. And you wait for it to install. Once it finishes installing, it'll reboot.
here it's going to ask you where are you from, what keyboard settings you want, you want to transfer any settings, I just put no, continue, I don't want to use it, I don't want to sign in, you can sign in by the way, agree, agree, then you play your name, password press continue choose your time zone right there. Continue. Continue. Once it's done, it'll open like this. It looks pretty ugly, right? So what you want to do is you want to right click on it. Well, first of all, you want to go to VM removable devices on the CD, CD DVD press settings and the CD DVD put use ISO file you want to browse you want to go into the folder you downloaded and then you want to go to VM tools you want to click on it you want to open it and you want to press OK then for some of you you want to go back into VM remove the devices the thing and then you put connect minority was automatically so this will pop out you install the VMware tools double click on it press continue install put your password continue installation you wait for it to install Installation is successful. You click on restart. Once it opens, you put your password to log in. And now, your image should be a little bigger. You should be able to go on full screen. 
it works a lot smoother so yeah this is my tutorial hopefully this helped guys thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like the content it's gonna be better it's only getting better